Well, you might be wondering why Evo has come out to do a video on an Infiniti FX50. Well, the eagle-eyed amongst you will spot this is no ordinary one because it says Vettel on the side. And this is the Sebastian Vettel Special Edition. 200 units they're going to build, which when you hear the price, it won't surprise you that's all they're going to build. Because this car is £100,800 on the road. Huge amount of money when you consider the standard car is £58,000. They even have the cheek to charge extra for the rear spoiler, which is an additional £4,800. So we're looking at a £106,000 FX50. Well, it has to be pretty special for that sort of money. Yes, there are some details on here that have really changed. It's, it's added power, which we'll look at in a moment. But really, visually, you can see it's very different because of all the extra carbon parts on the front. The idea Sebastian had, he wanted to increase the top speed. He drives around in one of these in Germany, and he wants to increase the top speed. The standard car is limited to 250 kilometers an hour, which is pretty quick for a car like this but he wanted to see if they could get up to 300 kilometers an hour. And part of that was to reduce drag. And this is what this is all about. It's beautifully done. The carbon is actually done by Brabus. And we go around and see the changes. We have carbon mirrors, we have a carbon sill, and the front, we've got a carbon grille, which is unique, and this very elaborate front valance. There's different wheels on it as well. Strangely to me, it's the same size as standard, and it's got the standard tires, and it's also on standard brakes. Now we go around to the rear, there's a few changes there as well. At the rear, you'll see there's this rear valance, all out of carbon, beautifully constructed, sort of rear Venturi going on. And the bit they're particularly proud of is this, which is an F1 designed stoplight. But uh, on this car, it's too, mounted too low to use as a stoplight. So it's actually a fog light. They're all going to be white. Blacked out windows seems to be what this car comes with. And if you look at the roof, and particularly anorak detail, there's no roof rails. Well, actually, that's quite hard to achieve. Um, but this is this rear spoiler. £4,800 for this rear spoiler on a £100,000 car. That sounds a bit mean charging extra for that. Inside, there's more changes. Well, a huge amount of money has been spent inside as well. Um, the whole car is retrimmed. There's this beautiful lever with this purple stitching. It's all down the seat, it's on the gear stick. Beautifully done, the wheels retrimmed as well. And then there's this matte carbon, it's real carbon. So there's a real carbon panel here and all through the centre console as well. Um, the roof is done in Alcantara, even the sun visors are done in Alcantara. <clears throat> a huge amount of effort, but the bit I can't understand is it almost looks like the standard car. Um, and for that sort of money, I'd expect a bit more uh, to be done on the dash and things. The one bits you've got that say this is the Vettel edition are a little badge here and then a little badge on each of the seats as well. Here we go, wheel comes out, seat goes in. And there's always that burble of exhaust with this new conversion. Um, with the, with the uh, extra power, what they've done, they've actually, it's a completely different exhaust system on, on the Vettel and they've also remapped the engine. And they say it gives an extra sort of 30 horsepower or so. So we're up to um, 420. Um, so it sort of matches uh, something like the KN GTS. And I think that's sort of its closest rival. I'm running around in one of those at the moment and uh, I always can't get over how sort of heavy it is behind the wheel. All the, all the systems, all the steering is much heavier than you expect in the KN. But this car, the Infiniti, has always felt a little bit more nimble. They haven't always sounded like that though. It just feels a little bit more car-like this uh, to the KN. The weights are about the same, it's just over um, two tonnes, so it's still a big car. Um, but the Vettel version, they say they've saved about um, 46 kilos, I think it is. Part of that is the, the wheels, three and a half kilos lighter per corner, and then all the carbon pieces, they've all sort of stacked up. 46 kilos saved, which is quite a lot. The other thing they've done, I've, the gearbox blips down. I've got it in sport mode at the moment. Um, and it does a nice little blip as you're breaking into corners. The ride's very good as well. You'd sort of worry because they say, oh, we've lowered it by um, 20 mil, but they've actually kept the spring rate the same. So the ride is near identical to a standard version. It's just a bit lower, just means it doesn't roll quite as much on corners. So it feels pretty good behind the wheel. Going through the basics of the car, steering, 
just a little mushy as you go off centre. It's, um, it's not quite as sharp as you'd expect. And the, uh, we were in, talking about the throttle before, it's um, super sharp in town. Um, and out here though, it, it just relaxes and it feels okay. It's like they've, like they've tried to enhance the feeling this more powerful engine. But trying to find the difference between 420 and 390 horsepower, you don't really notice it. Um, so there are some downsides to this car. Um, I'm surprised also that um, they were saying that it doesn't actually do the top speed. And the whole point of this car was it's a 300 kilometer an hour car. Well, they're actually admitting it's um, probably about 275 kilometers an hour, which is still pretty quick, but not quite as quick as they'd hoped. Good job, really, because the speedo only goes up to 280, and so 300 would be well off the clock. Um, so. I wanted to love this car, but I'm starting to sort of waver. And then, you know, you throw that price, the £100,000 car, um, you expect more. And uh, it, it did slightly better than the standard car. But uh, can I say it's um, £50,000 better? No, no, not. If your name's Vettel, or, um, then I can understand why you buy one. Or if you want to be different, well, I can also understand, because it does look distinctive, shall we say. But FX50 needs more help than that. It's not a pretty car from the outside, and uh, I feel that everything they've put on this car hasn't really helped. So, no, I can't say I'm going to be buying one of these.